What's up, it's Lalo. In this video, I want to show you how you can export out Face Mojo animation if you want to render it in a different application other than Daz Studio. And so I just got Genesis 8 mail loaded in the scene here. And then to save a little bit of time, I already baked the animation to him from uh, my iPhone FBX file here. And so you'll see if we hit play, that he's already got some facial anima animation. And so just in case, I'm going to jump this back, the timeline back to the beginning of the, uh, the animation here. And then I would recommend deleting the iPhone X FBX file just because we shouldn't need it in the other application and could cause problems potentially. I don't really know. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Before exporting him, we'll want to make sure that he's set up properly for export. So I we'll want to select him and make sure we go to the parameters tab here, go to general mesh resolution, and then set his resolution level to base. Uh, even though FBX will always export the mesh out at the base resolution, if you don't set the resolution level to base, it actually like smooths the mesh a little bit and it'll give you bad results when you go to subdivide it in your other target application. Like basically the teeth will have like extra large gaps in them and the eyes won't fit right with their eye sockets. So this is pretty much crucial. You always want to export this out as base resolution level and then uh, subdivide it in your other target application and then I would actually do that for every um, clothing item or hair item or whatever you have uh, you know set up for him so I'll do the same thing for Genesis 8 male eyelashes set that to base and now we just want to go to file export and then make sure our save as type is Autodesk FBX and then we just name our file but I'm just gonna overwrite this one I already have for the FBX options You'll need to have figures checked since it's the figure that we're exporting. And then you also need to make sure you have animations and morphs checked. And you'll see here, if we go to my morph rules, that there's nothing fancy. I believe these are just the defaults. So it's just dot CTRLVS and then export and then anything else is baked. And so we'll just go ahead and accept that. You don't have to write a rule for every uh, face mojo morph. So that's pretty nice. So we'll hit, go ahead and hit accept here. And then I like to use FBX 2014 binary. It seems to be what's working well for me in all my situations. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then uh, I like to merge clothing skeleton into my figure skeleton. So I got that checked. And then I believe you have to have allowed degraded scaling checked in order for FBX export to work. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept now that those are all set up the way I want them. And now this will take a minute to export out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until it's done. All right. So now that that is finished, I'm just going to jump over to Maya here to demonstrate that it worked. And so I'm just going to import in the FBX file. Give it a second for Maya to do its thing. And then uh, it might be a little bit different depending on what application you're using to that you want to render in. Um, the way you go about importing it, but basically it seems like if you just import FBX and then make sure you have animations checked to import, that it should work. And so now if we hit play, you'll see that we still have all the face mojo animation. So it's pretty cool and super simple, right? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful.